Welcome! In this video, we are going to take a look at problem 60 from chapter 18 of College Physics 2E by OpenStax. Okay, so we have a small object. It's a small charged insulating ball. It's hanging on a length of string and it's in a uniform electric field and we know what the charge on the ball is and we need to find the strength of the field so we need to find the magnitude of the field okay let's start with what we know okay we know the mass is five grams we know the length is 30 centimeters and we know the charge Q is 1.00 microcoulombs. Okay, we can draw the free body diagram for the ball. And so I'm just going to use the usual. I'll put the ball right here at the center. We'll make that positive X, that positive Y. Okay, this is a positive charge, so um, the electric force is in the same direction as the electric field. So we'll put this as F sub E. This is a ball, so it has a weight that is straight down. And then it's attached to a string, so it has a tension. And we'll put tension there. We'll drop a perpendicular to the x-axis. This is theta. We can add theta to the list. It is 8.00 degrees. It just says 8 degrees in the figure, but in the caption it says 8.00, so we'll go with that. Okay, and so we can find the components. This will be the x component of tension and the y component of tension. Okay, and so let's do that over here. If we take the cosine of theta, we get the adjacent ty over t. And if we take the sine of theta, we get the opposite tx over t. All right, so let's sum the forces in the x direction. Note that the ball is not accelerating, so we can say the forces will add up to zero. We've got Fe in the positive x direction, Tx in the minus, so we subtract Tx. That's it for the x direction. And so that is going to be zero. So Fe is equal to Tx. So Fe is equal to T sine theta. Okay, let's sum our forces in the y direction. Again, no acceleration in the y, so the sum of the forces is zero. Okay, we have the y component of tension up minus the weight because that's down. That's it in the y direction. They are equal to zero. Okay, Ty is T cosine theta. We can put the W to the other side. And so T cosine theta is Mg. All right, so we can divide the equations. And let's see, we're going for E. Uh, we can say Fe is Q times E. That will be T sine theta. So let's do QE divided by Mg will be T sine theta divided by T cosine theta. Okay, we don't know the tension and now we've eliminated it because it's in the numerator and denominator. All right. So, we'll get rid of our T's. 
we can multiply by mg over q for both sides. So mg over q, we've got a sine theta over a cosine theta. But let's note that sine theta over cosine theta is equal to the tangent of theta. So we have E is mg tan theta over q. And so E is the mass, okay? We said the mass was 5 grams. We need that in kilograms. So 5 grams is 10 to the minus 3 kilograms. G is the acceleration due to gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. We've got the tan of 8.00 degrees. We're dividing by Q, which was 1 microcoulombs, 1.00 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. I did this calculation and I get 6,887 newtons per coulomb. And so we can say E is 6.89 times 10 cubed newtons per coulomb. They asked for the, the strength, so that's asking for the magnitude. And the figure already gives the direction, so we, we only needed to find the magnitude. All right, let me know in the comments section if you have any questions or comments or if there are other problems you'd like to see. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.